So yeah, I think like y'all know we in a pandemic right now. It's um June 2020. We may be out of the pandemic by the time y'all watching this. But for y'all that are here, you understand it's really a lack of things to do. So I just try to take advantage of the things that are available. And when I was told that there's mulberries on this tree, see the tree? I'm, I don't ever remember eating mulberries like these. Ooh, that sun look nice. Hey, sun. All right, like these. But I gathered a few earlier and now I'm just picking more because I want to put them and some pancakes or something. People make uh, probably muffins, things like that with it too. Also, I haven't seen the deer that much yet. It is June, but I usually feel like I've seen the, the deer by now. They come through and eat off of this tree a lot. And um, it's pretty cool to watch. So hopefully they come soon and get these while they're there. Like, cause if you can see, the dark ones are the ones that are ready to eat and um i can't say these aren't edible too but these dark ones and they're not really sweet or anything like that they're um i don't, I don't know how to describe them they're not sour but they're really not sweet but i know that they're going to be banging in these um pancakes that i make that's how much i have so far it's probably enough for pancakes already but if I just decide to grab a handful sometime, then I can do that too. But I'm definitely going to probably make these in the morning because I don't want to leave them too long. And they're nice and fresh. I know that there are places like strawberry um, farms. You can pick your own strawberries and things like that. I've never gone to one. And now that I'm picking these mulberries off this tree, which I didn't plan to do, just random, something to do while we stuck in the house and everything else is pretty closed down. I want to go do that sometime too. And then there's some places... Ooh, you can pick ooh, the collard greens, all kinds of stuff. So look at it. Look at it. I think I got enough for now, but I just feel like vlogging sometimes. I don't know. Starting the channel, I know I'm not being planned for to be a vlog, but it's kind of fun to vlog and keep up because I know um i can keep up with things happening in my life years and years from now but also and just talk to y'all y'all can get to know me a little bit more better and if y'all can see that i'm random <laughs> so yeah i'm gonna make some pancakes with these mulberries tomorrow morning i'm gonna record that too Part of me is like, stop picking the berries that's like at, at low, low to the ground. Reach up for the other ones so the deer and the other animals can get the ones that are closer to the ground. But they can eat the ones off the ground. But they also, uh, <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure that they can figure it out. So, yeah. <laughs> y'all, if y'all gonna pick mulberries and step in the mulberries that already fell on the ground. Look at those prints I made. <laughs> they definitely create stains. All right, so I hope y'all don't have carpet. I do not have carpet in that area. However, it could have been bad if I walked in the living room or something and made stains from the mulberry <laughs> uh, places on the ground so i'm gonna show y'all yep i definitely definitely stepped in those just rinsing these off i'm gonna add I, I just usually clean my vegetables and fruits with the water i don't really put vinegar in the whole nine um but usually that people do things like this because they're concerned about um, oh, it's a bug on that one. Oh, wow, it's a few bugs on these. Do y'all see that? Like, do y'all see that? That means I might have ate a few bugs, y'all, because I rinsed the other ones off. I didn't soak them. I just rinsed them off real quick and ate them. Wow, y'all see that? Right, so I think maybe I do need to put some vinegar in here too so I can 
discourage them little things from staying in here. Wow, y'all see this? I definitely have to clean, clean this. I'm gonna go with Google how to get the little tiny itty bitty little bugs out of my mulberries. But clearly I ate some of these, rinsed them off, but it didn't really soak them so the bugs didn't have time to come out. So they're probably like just swimming around in my stomach acid. <laughs> oh boy. Long as it goes, you know, one out of waste with exits. Okay, now I am about to make a brunch. I have some eggs here. I have my materials I'm gonna need to make my pancakes. I like to put brown sugar, cinnamon, chia seeds, vanilla extract, and butter. And I love maple syrup or regular syrup with butter. And I need my measuring tools. And yeah, those are the mulberries, all nice and clean. <laughs> Yep, definitely don't want my pancakes to stick, so I have that. Yeah, here I am measuring everything out according to the directions on the box. Got my cold water here. I put some ice in there. That's what they call for cold water. You know, they give us the measurements, but we can tell. If you make a lot of pancakes, you can pretty much tell if you have a, too much or too little water, if you need to add more water, or if you need to add more of the um, mixture. All right, getting all, all next, nice and mixed up. Oh yeah, get it, Kim. I got. I love cinnamon. Put cinnamon in applesauce and all kinds of things. Chia seeds, just a little dose of antioxidants. If you can call it a dose, that's the brown sugar. Always hard and clumped up. No matter how airtight you think you stored it. Yeah, mix, 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 mix. <laughs> Still mixing. I see a little bit of white little spots at the bottom there. It's not well combined, as the bakers would say. And I like to clean up as I go too. And over there on the right, or yeah, the right, I have my pan preheating, putting some stuff away. Yeah. You missed the spot, Kim, but it's all good. I'm going to let you go with that. Since this was over a month ago, I'm just giving this a voiceover. It's like July 11th, I think, today. All right. I, yeah, I think. Okay, so there I am. What am I doing? Oh, I was getting butter, butter ready for my pancakes. And now I'm ready to, to cook the pancakes. Yes. It doesn't really matter how big it's going to be. The box tells you to um, do a certain size. But as long as it cooks all the way through, then you make sure that. Out of this video, I just wanted to let you all watch this one clip. And at the moment, I thought that was a bad idea. Like, no, this is let them watch the pancake cook. I like to watch the pancakes cook and go from being like really liquidy and then the bubbles popping through the surface, and then it starts to get a little bit more solid and ready to turn over. Is, is anybody else that way? Do anybody else like to watch the pancakes cook? <laughs> Or maybe I'm just so excited and ready to eat them that it's just exciting. Yeah. Not too bad, okay. Yep, 
other ones right now. Voila! Ooh, she did that. That's just saying I had an extra one because I didn't want to leave any um, batter behind. And I'm ready to cook my eggs now. I cooked my eggs. I'm getting ready to add the finishing touches. Oh, yes, pour it, pour it, pour it. Oh yeah, it's about that time. Yep, because maple syrup never hurt anybody. Put a little bit more, because that's my business. <laughs> okay, time to taste. Mmm, when I tell you these were good, they were good. They were absolutely delicious. I enjoyed them. yeah they're about to disappear in no time and i liked the mulberries cooking in the pancakes because they didn't burst open i noticed when i make blueberry pancakes the blueberries kind of burst open a little bit but these did not do that and i was very pleased even though they are really really delicate they didn't burst open while cooking so yeah those pancakes were good and I got a little souvenir here. <laughs> it just went away, but <laughs> I think y'all saw it. I'm going to go outside to this tree. I'm going to show you the tree. Y'all hear the birds? This is the tree I picked the um, mulberries off of. I'm going to go and get some more, a lot more, and just freeze them. Probably try to use them like in smoothies or something like that. They were, I really enjoyed them. I, I know I don't know if it's going to be the same if I freeze them and then put them back in pancakes again. I just added some more footprints. <laughs> so I'm gonna just go ahead and leave these right here and go inside. All right, so June 3rd, I believe, I went back outside with a tarp and I laid it on the ground so I can shake the tree and get all the mulberries that fell off. And so I collected those, I cleaned them up really good. and. The day after that, I made some mulberry muffins that were edible. They were all right. They're um, definitely worth finishing. I wasn't going to throw them in the trash. They wasn't that bad, but I know some ways I can change the recipe. I'm trying to open this up, but I only have two left. Here they go. And um, funny thing, these little muffin cups have dog prints and bones on them because they didn't have any other ones they didn't have the plain ones and i figured it doesn't matter i just needed to have some muffin cups so i got these ones and this recipe was for mulberries but blueberries could also be substituted as well and again they were all right um i probably won't make them again i feel like well i wouldn't make them again this way i think i'll modify the recipe so yeah now i'm going to go get the mulberries i froze and i'm going to put those in a bag here are my frozen mulberries after i went and picked some more um it was suggested that these to be frozen in a single layer i got it as flat as possible um so that they would not all bunch up and clump together and um this is where it works out pretty well because they're not all stuck together a couple of them are but they you know, what you expect it they're easier to use as a handful if i would have had frozen them all together in this bag at first they would all be a big frozen clump so that wouldn't help so yeah i'm gonna just put these away and that pretty much is it as far as these uh, mulberries are concerned and my um i'm gonna call my corn activity <laughs> corn activities is like a combination of things activities you do under quarantine Thank you.